happened. Last year, he led all 100 laps. He had a competitive race with Hudson O'Neill and Dale McDowell till a caution into that hope. All right, 100 laps. The Lucas Oil Late Mother Dirt Series, the Comp Cam's Topless 100. One of 16 races that pay 30,000 or more to win. $154,000 feature purse. The current Lucas Oil Late Mother Dirt Series points leader, the Racing Three Row Start Zone. This is the Dixie Chopper. Feel the thunder in Batesville. Ricky Thornton Jr. at the transponder loop of the lead. Davenport, McCready, McDowell, Moran. Down the back straightaway. Jonathan Davenport on the outside. He will need, not lead all 100 laps tonight, but he'll take the lead on lap two. Two laps, two different leaders here in BMS. Ricky Thornton Jr. back to second. McCready, McDowell, Jared Landers runs in fifth. They hit it to turn number three. Jonathan Davenport has climbed to third in the championship points in the Big River Steel. Chase for the championship presented by ARP leads into turn number one. Right now it's nine tenths of a second over the current Lucas Oil late monitor series points leader. Sporting the Midwest Sheba Loin spoiler, Ricky Thornton Jr. Battle for third between the two veterans, Tim McCready and Dale McDowell off a of turn four with four in the books tonight. Stormy Scott is seventh, Hudson Leal Lee Spencer used ninth, tenth runs Earl Pearson Jr. So among the top four, a uh, top five, Four of them have won this race. The only one is not is Ricky Thornton Jr. at the line battle there between McCready and Dale McDowell. McDowell on the bottom. The Team Zero Bloomquist 17M. The Paler Motorsports Mega Plumbing of the Carolinas 39. They go wheel to wheel in a turn three as we score lap number six. Jonathan Davenport right now 1.268 seconds. The advantage down the back straightaway as this battle continues between the two Wiley veterans, both former winners of this race. McCready in 2008, McDowell in 2004, down the main straightaway, seven scored. Now Jonathan Davenport will start to pick up the tail end of the field. Ricky Thorne Jr. is 1.1 second behind. Now the back straightaway, you wonder about tire wear. Seems like always a factor here as McDowell will throw the slender in on McCready and Dale Mack will take the third spot at the line. Jonathan Davenport out of turn number two, down the back straight away. Nine laps in the books, 91 to go. Out of turn number two is your race leaders. You see the battle back here continues between Ricky Thornton Jr. and Dale McDowell. Right now, it is still Jonathan Davenport out of turn four. 10 in the books here tonight at Batesville. Second spot runs Ricky Thornton Jr. in the 20 RT as Dale McDowell will start to pressure him off a of turn four. Here comes Dale McDowell inside that wall down the straightaway. A car link behind RTJ into one. As the car slows in front of them as they come out of turn number two, that is the one of BJ Robinson. Into turn three, there's the battle there for the race lead, the top three all together. Davenport, Thornton, and McDowell for turn number four at the line. 12 laps in the books. It is business picking up up front. Meanwhile, McDowell takes a shot in the bottom down the back straight away. McCready will try to follow in position number four. Then it's Landers, then it's Moran, then it's Hudson O'Neill up at turn four, side by side at the line. And McDowell's got it. Dale McDowell moves to second. McDowell around Ricky Thornton Jr. down the back straight away. He'll give him a shot in the back bumper. Does Thornton on Dale McDowell. Off at turn number four. It's still Davenport. <laughs> Davenport into turn number one. Oh, man, this is getting good out at turn number two. It's early on in Batesville in the Comp Camp's Topless 100 presented by Nutrient Act Solutions. It's Davenport, McDowell, Thornton. And McCready up at turn number four. McCready a run on the bottom down the straightaway. Half a car length at the loop. It is Ricky Thornton Jr. We've got 14 in the books out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Battle for the lead into three. Here comes Dale McDowell. Dale McDowell on the bottom. Trying to become the third different leader of this race as they head to the turn number one. 
Right now, the Nutri-Max Solutions, Cornette powered 49 down the back straightaway with Evan Porter drift up the track. Here comes McDowell, here comes Thornton, here comes McCready, here comes Jared Landers. Jared Landers high, wide at turn number four in the triple seven. Here comes Moran, half a car length at the line, it's Landers. Man, oh man, the top six all on the same straightaway in a turn three, Davenport, McDowell, Thornton, McCready will shoot to the bottom off at of turn number four. It's still Jonathan Davenport, 18 laps in the record books here tonight. McDowell will go through the middle, Dale Mack on the bottom. Down the back straight away. Thornton led the first lap. Davenport has led since then. It's almost a repeat of last year when we had Davenport, McDowell, and Hudson O'Neill battling for the checkers. It ended up being Dale, Mc, Dale McDowell not getting the win. It was Jonathan Davenport down the back straight away in turn number three. Off a of turn four. Jonathan Davenport continued to show, and to show the way here in the turn one as they work that top. Now Dale McDowell tries the middle. Thornton down the lane lower out of turn number two down the back straight away. Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to break a record. Scott Bloomquist had held the record. 2016 was the year, a record 15 wins in the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series. Thornton trying to get number 16 tonight as he approaches the $400,000 market earnings just in the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series here in 2023. As they work around the lap car of B.J. Robinson down the main straightaway. 21 laps complete. Make it 22 out of two. Thornton will drift up the track. Here comes McCready. And McCready looking for his second career with in the comp cams topless winner. By the way, Devin Moran has climbed to fifth right there in the 99. So Devin Moran looking for his first win, looking for his second crown jewel victory of the year. He won the Show Me 100 in Wheatland, Missouri, back Memorial Day weekend. He had a good rot rod here last night. He's got a good one here tonight at a turn three. Off of turn number four as they work. Lap number 24 here at Batesville. It's a good one. Still Davenport, McDowell, Fort McCready, Moran. Sixth is Lander, seventh is O'Neill, eighth is Scott. Ninth is Spencer Hughes. Tenth is Earl Pearson, Jr. As you see, Dale McDowell at a turn number one. The easy go. Clot Synthetic Lubricant 17M. Clements Power Team Zero down the back straightaway. The Hoker Trucking. Coltman Farms. Big River Steel Entry in the 20 RT for Todd and Vicki Burns. Down the main straightaway. A competitive race so far as we are a quarter of the way through here in Batesville. 26 now, officially scored. It's still Davenport as McDowell will work the middle off of turn number four. McDowell on the outside of the current Comp Cam Super Dirt Series points leader, Kyle Beard at a turn one. Close quarters racing there. Dale Mack will take it out of two. He's about three car lengths behind. Then it's Thornton, then it's McCready, then it's Moran, then it's Landers. The top five are within 2.7 seconds off of turn four. And the Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution is out. Unofficially 27 in the books before our first Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution of the race. Something apparently is Brandon Shepard. But Ben Shelton, positions one through five, separated by just 2.7 seconds. A dandy at Batesville so far. Yeah, it's been nip and tuck. J JD really likes the top of the racetrack. McDowell really needs the bottom, and he got bottled up there behind Kyle Beard, but now clean track. Morgan Bagley's made his way into the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Hot Pit. 27 laps in the books, two different leaders, but Dell McDowell seems persistent to become the third one. And again, James, many different grooves in this racetrack right now to be interesting how it evolves as we get into the latter stages. Now, as we mentioned, the first time that we've run this race on the new tire rule, the two, threes, and fours here at Batesville. So I have John Mitchell out of the race. He'll finish 29th. Boom Riggs will finish 28th. Everybody else is still on the racetrack. Well, and I tell you what, uh, right now, uh, Tim McCready having a good run. Devin Moran in the top five as well, as right now those guys having some good runs here tonight. But Jonathan Davenport trying to make history going back to back. Can he do it here tonight? Still a long way to go, though. Yeah, you just get a feeling that this lead is <laughs> two lead changes in the first two laps. Davenport has led ever since, but Dale McDowell 
and Thornton and McCready and Moran were all there together. Jared Landers right now is sixth. Hudson O'Neill is seventh. Eighth is Stormy Scott. Ninth is Spencer Hughes. Tenth is Earl Pearson Jr. Eleventh is Garrett Smith. Twelfth was Brandon Shepard. As we'll do the Delaware double file restart. So Dale McDowell. Ben, he's got to pick the bottom, right? <laughs> Go ahead I mean, directory. he's the KG veteran, but yeah, he's got to take, he's been so good and, you know, no big surprise, Dell McDowell, very good on the bottom. Right now, it'll be interesting on this restart, James, to see if JD stays married to that top. And last night we saw Ricky Thornton Jr., let's not forget, buzz that top to go to the lead and ultimately the win. Lights are down, 27 in the book, 73 to go here in Batesville. All right, Ben, long way to go. And it seems like just about like Florence, as we've seen it before, the leader at lap 90 does not win the race as we go into turn three. The Lance and Darla Landers from right here in Batesville, Arkansas, the Double O Motorsports of the Racing for Heroes Restart Zone. We are back underway at Batesville. Good restart for Thornton on the outside of McDowell into turn number one. On the bottom, Dale McDowell for the lead out of turn number two. And Tim McCready and Devin Moran's got to go to fourth. Moran, the Big River Steel 99. Devin Moran has got a good hot rod all weekend long. He will clear McCready by for car length at the line. In the turn number one, it is still Davenport out in front. McDowell, Thornton, Moran, and McCready, a dandy at Batesville. Comers and goers, Jared Landers way up top. The steering wheel is back on the 777 as he heads down the straightaway. He's got a good hot rod. His first race in 365 days. He goes to the outside of Tim McCready down the back straightaway. Jared Landers has picked the top and the restart and he has got it going. Up against that berm down the main straightaway. Here comes Landers and Jared Landers has gone to fifth. Boy, we've seen it so many times here at Batesville where the triple seven, now he'll go to the bottom. Meanwhile, Davenport still leads. It's about three car lengths into turn number one. As we've scored 31 here tonight, 69 to go. McDowell looking through the middle out of turn number two. Davenport still married to that top. Now he'll dip down low. He'll shut the door on McDowell out of turn number four. He continues to lead. He took the lead on lap two. He's led ever since. 32 in the books. And the two veterans down the back straight away. Briefly go side by side. Thornton is still third, Moran fourth, McCready fifth. There are battles all over this racetrack as we double a box it here on Bear TV on Flow Racing. Now Davenport to the bottom. Jonathan Davenport. Man, he looked like he slowed up there going to that bottom. And here comes McDowell up top. Jonathan Davenport trying to keep it down on the bottom. Dale McDowell all over him. And here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. In the turn one, he goes back to the top. McDowell right through the middle of Dale McDowell for the lead. Jonathan Davenport has lost his momentum here in the last couple of laps. He has slowed down enough to where Dale McDowell becomes the third different leader of the race here in Batesville Motor Speedway. With 34 laps complete. And I'm not sure. Jonathan Davenport as they go into three. Now Ricky Thornton Jr. all over. Meanwhile behind him, how about Moran and Jared Landers. Looks like Jared Landers is going to go off the racetrack and turn four every time, but he keeps his momentum. Meanwhile, the battle for second out of two. It's Davenport and Thornton. Here comes Devin Moran. Stormy Scott is seventh. Hudson O'Neill eighth. Pearson is ninth. Hughes is tenth. Garrett Smith is eleventh. Brandon Overton won the first B main. He's twelfth in 76. From 18th to 12th, he's picked up six spots. Meanwhile, that bat of the top four. Meanwhile, McDowell pulling away right here. It was nine tenths of a second last time. It might be more than a second. It is still nine tenths of a second out of turn number two. The back of the field down the back straight away. Dale McDowell, Davenport, Thornton, Moran, Jared Landers, McCready, Stormy Scott at Hudson O'Neill trying to get closer. In the turn number one. 61 laps to go with this 100 laps. Three different leaders. Last year, as I mentioned, Davenport led all 100 laps. Port led the first lap, then Davenport led until McDowell goes into turn number one, looking for his second career win here in the Comcam's Topless 100, his first one 19 years ago in 2004. As they come out of turn four, heavy traffic tail into the field. 
Mitchell is out. Boom is out. But we still have 27 of the 29 starters still left on this racetrack. Out in turn number two down the back straight away, McDowell. As they've got the car, Scott Crickler who won here. And Dill McDowell, Jonathan Davenport threw it in. And it looked like contact with Crickler. Crickler again, who won here on Thursday night at the Comp Camp Super Dirt Series race. Davenport making an aggressive move there to get around the old Missouri drivers. They did in turn number three as they work lap 43. Seven shy of the halfway mark. Davenport trying to make that 49 car work, but Dale McDowell right now is good. That last time around, the fastest car on the track was the 49. Down the back straightaway, McDowell, he'll get around the number one of B.J. Robinson. Out at turn number four. Meanwhile, Devin Moran holding off McCready. Remember, that's important in these points. Brandon Overton right now running in 11th up another spot here from the last time we checked. As we work five, shy of the halfway mark, 45 in the books. Four-year race leader, Dale McDowell. Davenport, Thor Thornton Moran, McCready still the top five. Down the back straightaway, Thornton on the outside as Davenport shut the door in the 20 RT. McDowell now, he's got about a half a straightaway or more lead right now, but second on back. Here they go into one, Davenport up top, Thornton down low. Out at turn number two, Moran trying to get in there. Good battle for a second between Davenport and Thornton. But Dale McDowell says, you guys go right ahead. Down the main straightaway, we're three shy of the halfway mark. 47 complete here tonight. Ricky Thornton Jr. goes to the outside in turn number two. As we double box it here on Map TV on Flow Racing, down the back straightaway, Davenport will leave the door open. They go side by side into turn three. Off of four. Davenport, can he hang on? He does. Good battle there between Davenport and Thornton for a second. 48 complete. Again, Moran is fourth. McCready fifth, Stormy Scott, O'Neill, Landers, Pearson, use your top 10. Off of turn four. In the one already. Now out of two. Dale McDowell looking good. The Clements powered easy go. Team Zero, 17M with his brother Shane McDowell turning the wrenches. The 57-year-old out of Chickamauga, Georgia. Into turn number one, we're halfway done for the 31st annual Comp Camp Stop Plus 100 presented by Nutrient Act Solutions. 19 long years since Dale McDowell's won this race. Right now, with a good lead about as they score at 51, right now it's 4.0 seconds, the advantage for McDowell. And Davenport is still second. Thornton is third. Moran is fourth. Right now, McDowell behind the seven of Ross Robinson down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Thornton has lost contact. Meanwhile, here comes Devin Moran at 99 as Moran will close on Thornton. As Davenport has broke loose from the 20 RT off a of turn four, he is Jonathan Davenport. The lead is down to 3.8 seconds. Still healthy for McDowell into turn three. Now Davenport gets out of shape, coming out of two as Logan Mart goes back to the bottom of him. And they come off a of turn four. Jonathan Davenport has gotten very, very loose here over the last 10 to 15 laps now as Ricky Thorne Jr. works the bottom. Dale McDowell trying to become the 17th different winner of the season in the Lucas Oil Late Mud Dirt Series. For the 17M, the Hall of Famer continues to show the way with 55 laps complete here tonight. Still Davenport, Thornton, Moran, McCready, your top five. One caution so far here tonight. Dale McDowell continues to lead here at Batesville. Meanwhile, Thornton, Moran. Davenport is about three car lengths ahead of Thornton in a turn three as they work traffic. Dale McDowell is already out of turn number two. And second on back is just entering turn two. As they work down the back straightaway, it is all Dale McDowell out of turn number four, dominating right now in Batesville. He has stretched it out. It is going to be probably over five seconds. It's 4.7 the advantage. Dale Mack, Davenport, Thornton, Moran, McCready, Stormy Scott still sixth, Hudson O'Neill seventh, Earl Pearson Jr. eighth, Jared Landers ninth, Spencer Hughes tenth, 
Brandon Overton, 11th, 12th is Kate Pittman, 13th is Dalton Wilson, 14th Tyler, 15th is Garrett Smith. That's Dale McDowell, there's the, right there in the battle there, McCready trying to catch Moran. Moran one spot ahead of him for those valuable points in the chase for the championship. Dale McDowell continues to show the way. He is in turn number two, still trying to get around Ross Robinson down the back straightaway. The rest of the field has not made any headway right now in trying to catch him as Davenport rolls the bottom out of four. in behind Ross Robinson. Don't want to get too close, just in case you have Brandon Shepard in front of him. Down the back straightaway. May now McDowell will negotiate Robinson on the outside with Shepard in front of him. Jonathan Davenport. It was three seconds exactly the last time around behind McDowell. As Dale McDowell has worked his way around Ross Robinson, Brandon Shepard, the final car in the lead lap. He runs 21st here tonight. Three different leaders in this race. Dale McDowell started fourth. He works out of turn number four, or into turn number three off of turn four behind Brandon Shepard. He'll tuck in behind B. Shep off of four. B. Shep, the winner at Houston's in the Silver Dollar Nationals. Right now, trying to get around him is Dale McDowell at turn number two as Shepard slips up out of the groove. McDowell in the bottom and Shepard down in front of him. But still a sizable lead for the 17M in the turn number one. 67 complete. 33. We had a car slowing at turn number two. And the Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution is out. And it's for Spencer Hughes who was running at 11. Spencer Hughes have been running in the top 10 this entire race here to the lap or two. And then Brandon Overton has moved to 10th. And another tough break for the Mississippi driver. Yeah, he's going to uh, – Jared Landers also into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit, guys. He was another driver running in the top ten as Jared Landers pulls in, as does Spencer Hughes, new right rear tire going on that race car. Garrett Alverson's going to pull down as well as Brandon Shepard and Jeremy Shaw. Wholesale cars in the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit as caution flies on the speedway. Yeah, looks like a lot of new tires are going to go on these race cars. Bottom has started to clean up, James, but I tell you what, Devin Moran had turned up the wick on Ricky Thornton Jr. as well, right before that Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution flew as Brandon Shepard up on the jack. New right rear tire will go on that race car. Jeremy Shaw looks like he is going to call it a night. Garrett Alverson's crew will put it up on the jack as well. And if I tell you what, if I'm Dell McDowell, I think I'd probably like to see that Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution. And Boom Briggs down here helping with the Jared Landers car, but Dell McDowell with clean track now, James. I think that's going to be important. Ben, we're going to take a look. There's the right rear off of Jared Landers' car. He was running in ninth, so we have to go to the back. So, so far, we have 26 cars, I believe, still in the race out of 29 starters. Dale McDowell, your leader, 67 laps scored. It's Jonathan Davenport second, Ricky Thorne Jr. third, Devin Moran fourth, Tim McCready fifth, Stormy Scott is sixth, Hudson O'Neill seventh, Earl Pearson Jr. is eighth, Brandon Overton will be ninth, Kay Diller will now be tenth. Ben, what do you think? Can we get this top to come back to life? Tell you what, some of these guys really punishing these tires right now with, I mean, it is, again, Batesville, you know it's going to be a tire game here. And Dell McDowell, one of the masters at managing his equipment right now out in front. And I tell you, a driver that continues to work his way forward, Brandon Overton, had to come out of a B main, trying to hold on to fourth in that Big River still chase for the championship presented by AARP in the championship. Tim McCready was only 15 points behind him entering tonight's program. 
Yeah, exactly, Ben. Well, Ricky Thornton Jr. led the first lap, then Davenport led laps two to 31, and McDowell has led ever since then. Right now, an early candidate for the Todd Steel Building's hard charger is Kyle Beard. Kyle Beard started 26 up 10 spots to 16th in Blair and Overton in the running order. Remember, Overton won the first B main here tonight, started 17th, still has some quarter panel damage, but looks like nothing rubbing on that right rear tire for the Wells Motorsports team. So 67 complete, 23, or 33 laps to go here tonight. And James, look at the condition of some of these tires that came off these cars. That is not going to be your last Corsage Performance Solutions caution of the night for flat tires. As I think it was, especially getting inside 20 to go, I think you're going to see some guys pretty much down to the cords on these on these tires and uh, bringing out some of these cautions. That's something to keep an eye on, especially for your front runners. Well, Dale McDowell out in front, and as you well know, Scott Bloomquist was a master at tire conservation. He did it here one year. Of course, when he won uh, his last comp camp stop was 100, he pitted like on lap 40 or 42, if you recall, came back out. And when Austin Reddick had a flat tire with 10 or less laps to go, that's when he took the lead back. All right, so it'll be Dale McDowell, Jonathan Davenport, Rick Thornton Jr., Devin Moran, Tim McCready, your top five. All right, the Racing Furious restart zone back underway in Batesville, 33 to go. They worked the bottom out of turn number two. Dale Mack clear racetrack in front of him down the back straight away. Now Brandon Overton looking for an avenue on the, or Stormy Scott in the 2S. Off at turn four, it's still Dale McDowell showing the way as he pulls away into turn one with 68 complete. Jonathan Davenport is second. Ricky Thorne Jr. is third. Three different leaders in this race. Dale McDowell looking for his second win in this crown jewel event. Out of turn number two. About a 10 car length advantage over Davenport as he circles into turn three. Thornton is still third, Moran fourth, McCready fifth, Scott is sixth, O'Neill seventh, Pearson eighth, Overton ninth, tenth is Kay Dillard, eleventh is Dalton Wilson, twelfth is Tyler Herb. Know those right rear. They have abused them here in the first 70 laps. Will they last for 30 more laps? Dale McDowell trying to pick up the tail end of the field. How close does he get? Will Davenport close? Davenport is 1.8 seconds behind him. Off at turn four, right in that wall, down the main straightaway. The white helmet 17 M into one. He's got three wide in front of him at the tail end of the field up at turn number two. He dives back down low. Now Davenport trying to close. It was I mentioned 1.839 seconds the last time around. This time it's going to be even closer. Yes, it's 1.4. He knocked four tenths of a second off as they go down the back straightaway. And Jared Landers is losing grip down the back straightaway. His teammate Davenport passes him, and Jared Landers is in trouble in turn three. Jared Landers off the pace, and he goes to the pitter and nose damage on the triple seven. We stay green. 25 laps to go. It's 1.1. Jonathan Davenport trying to make history here tonight. That is still one of the greatest statistics in dirt late model racing at the Crown Jewel event. No one has ever won this race back to back years. Right now, Davenport, eyeball test. He is closed. It was eight tenths of a second. We got a race for lead off of turn four. Dale McDowell and Jonathan Davenport into turn one. It's two car lengths for 17 M and McDowell, and he'll drift up. And Davenport trying to keep it glued to the bottom. They work the 12 of Scott Crickler. This is the chance for Davenport. Will he take the chance or settle in right there behind Dale McDowell at a turn number four? 77 laps complete. It's a and he goes to the outside. Davenport for the lead. He may have the opening. Out at turn number two, trying to make it stick. He can't, and McDowell will get away from him. He'll tuck back. They're not trying to get away from Scott Crickler, and there might have been a little contact between McDowell and Crickler as Crickler moves up out of the way. Remember, Davenport and Crickler early in this race got together. As Scott goes to the top, Davenport down the back straight. It's still Thornton Murray, McCready, the top five. Out at turn four, around this three-eighths mile track into turn number one. Heavy traffic. Brandon Shepard right now in 21st, the final car on the lead lap. Out at 
to turn four. That's going to allow Ricky Thornton Jr. and Devin Moran to close as they get around Scott Crickler. McCready in fifth. And Shepard is still going to that top right now, trying to hang on to the last lap with the leaders. And we'll have 19 to go this time around. Into turn number one. Dale McDowell trying to keep that car glued to the bottom. Ricky Thornton Jr., what will he do? He's got a comfortable points lead right now. Will he go for his first win here in the Comp Cam Stopless 100 off of turn four? Down the main straightaway. 18 laps to go. Meanwhile, Shepard into turn three as they close on him as he tucks down low off of turn four. 17 to go. Davenport is three tenths of a second behind. Shepard still trying to make that top work down the back straightaway. Dale McDowell now trying to be careful. That's close, man. That was close. Shepard nearly came down on him. Brandon still has that last spot on the lead lap. It's still McDowell, Davenport, Thornton, Moran, McCready down the back straightaway. Then it's O'Neill in one. Off of turn four. Will somebody go to the middle? In the one, 15 laps to go. Davenport just waiting as McDowell has cleared Brandon Shepard. Off of turn four, down the main straightaway. Jeremy Shaw back there in the one S car. Dale McDowell, Shepard. Again, is one lap down. Then it's Davenport, Thornton, again, Moran, McCree off of turn four. Wonder what Shepard will do. Is Shepard going to go as we go down the back straightaway? Into turn three. As we got a couple of cars running side to side in front of your race leader, Dale McDowell, off of turn four. There might have been a little bit of contact coming off of turn four between the R5 of Hunter Rasden. Dale McDowell now will try to get around the Jonesboro, Arkansas driver. He will so, and we got a car slowing in turn number two, and it is Jeremy Shaw, and the Gorsuch Performance Solutions call sheet is out with 88 complete. Yeah, Jeremy Shaw shredded a tire, left some rubber at the top of turn one and two, I believe. And man, I tell you what, I, I know that it's cleaned up and starting to latch on that bottom, but lap traffic has not cut these leaders any slack whatsoever, James. So right now, Ben, we have officially, I believe, 20 cars on the lead lap. Hunter Rasden was the last car on the lead lap. Shepard is going to lap down. Well, I tell you what, Davenport's had his chances there, and he stepped to the outside when they when they caught Krigler the first time and uh, just could not quite get enough up there. Again, you gotta wonder if Dell McDowell, the veteran, if he knew from the get-go that top had a real good chance to start to take some rubber down there. He's been married down there, he's been really good, and it just seems like if he can take care of his tires, not spin the tires on the restart, he's gonna be really tough with a dozen laps remaining. Yeah, when Davenport moved through that middle bend right through one, it looked like he was going to go to the outside and go right around me, but he just did not have the grip to do that. Well, you know, watching Brandon Shepard, who pitted for fresh tires under that last Corsage Performance Solutions caution, it's like you can get into one, you can get in the middle of one and two, and, but you can't get off of two as well as you, you need to. And then in three and four, really about 30 laps into this one, three and four, that bottom really got dominant. So if you're going to make it happen, you got to make it happen in one and two. And uh, But, hey, man, 12 laps to go. It's Batesville. Anything is possible. Yeah, so with 88 complete, it'll be Dale McDowell, Jonathan Davenport, Ricky Thornton Jr., Devin Moran, Tim McCready, your top five. Then it's Hudson O'Neill, Stormy Scott, Earl Pearson Jr., Brandon Overton, Kate Diller, 10th, and Dalton Wilson, Tyler Erb, Garrett Smith, Max Blair, Kyle Beard, your top 15. Out of the race, finishing 29th will be John Mitchell, 28th, Boom Briggs, 27th, Morgan Bagley, 26th, Jared Landers, uh, 25th, Billy Moyer Jr. is still out there. He's running in 25th right now. But he is four laps down. All right, you see the drivers there under caution. We've talked about it the last couple of years. Tires sealing up under caution flag periods as we're about ready to go back green as we get the lineup correct. 12 laps to go. Dale McDowell, the third different leader of this race off at of turn number four. Green is back out at Batesville with the Racing for Heroes restart zone. 
the 57 year old out of Chickamauga, Georgia. Out of turn number two, he'll pull away. Again, he has a clear racetrack in front of him. Davenport, Thornton, Moran will follow out of turn four, McCready. That time around, we got that green flag lap in seven tenths of a second. We'll check the deficit this time around. You know McDowell's not going to make any mistakes. He's going to keep that car on that bottom of that racetrack in the turn number one, ten laps remaining. Davenport took a shot at him about several laps ago, but right now Dale McDowell in control at Batesville. Off of turn number four. Nine laps to go for a $50,000 payday. He possibly could pick up the tail end of the field here. So we'll see what he says or what he does here. As we've seen, we've heard in interviews, you want to stay as far back from that tail end of that field there. Doesn't want to give Davenport a shot. And it's 1.2 seconds, and they will pick up the tail end of the field. If this stays green, they'll have seven to go next time around. Can Davenport think he might catch him, but can he get a run through the middle on this final lap? In the turn three, it's going to come up here in a little bit within six more laps. As he go around Billy Moyer Jr. to turn number one. And B.J. Robinson in front of him, out of turn number two, down the back straightaway. He is stretching back out to 1.8. Dale McDowell out of turn number four. Down the straightaway, five laps to go for his second win here in the ComCam's Top List 100 presented by Nutrient X Solutions. Jonathan Davenport is still second. Ricky Thorne Jr. third. Devin Moran fourth. Fifth runs Tim McCready. Ben will talk to the top five here in Lucas Oil Victory Lane. After this is over in four more laps. Down the back straightaway. Don't forget, we got to go to the scales. We've got to do droop. Into turn three, McDowell. Jonathan Davenport. Trying to catch him, trying to make a last lap stab, but he's going to have to go and go now because there's three to go. Into one. Dale McDowell still leading. Jonathan Davenport is 1.3 seconds behind as they come off a of turn four. Two laps to go down the straightaway. Dale McDowell, Jonathan Davenport may catch him, but he's going to run out of time as they go down the back straightaway with a white flag. Remember, anything can happen here in the last two laps. Davenport closing rapidly. Will he take a shot? There's the white flag. One lap to go. Here comes Jonathan Davenport into one. He'll try to go lower than McDowell. Dale sticks it out at turn number two down the back straight away. Jonathan Davenport on the roll. What's he going to do? He's going to go down low, but Dale McDowell has the advantage off a of turn four, and Dale McDowell wins his second career. Comp Camp's topless 100 by six tenths of a second over Jonathan Davenport. And all unofficial till they go to the scales and droop to make it official. <laughs> Love the top, but one time a year, they take the roofs off and it's here in Batesville, Arkansas. And the third different leader of this race Again, he's got to go through the post-race tech in the infield. Right now, unofficially, Dale McDowell, three-tenths of a second at the line over Davenport. Thornton will finish third, unofficially. Then Moran, McCready, O'Neill sixth. Stormy Scott, Pearson, Overton, and Cade Dillard. Well, pending post-race tech, Del McDowell becoming a two-time champion of this event, the 17th different winner in 2023 with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. The number of champions of the Comp Cam's Topless 100 staying at 17. Again, pending that post-race inspection that's happening right now. It's we, a Ben, it's all 17s then, right? Yes, sir, all 17s <laughs> all the time as Dell gets his ninth win of the year. And Jonathan Davenport second, Ricky Thornton Jr. third. We'll talk to your Big River Steel top three. We'll talk to your Penske Shocks top five down here in Lucas Oil Victory Lane as we wait to see for the first time in 19 years, Dell McDowell. Last time he did it, he did it in a Shocket race car, a Shaw Rocket. Tonight, 
a Team Zero race car. And they've got some old Team Zero cars in the shop that his brother and team owner, Shane McDowell, they, they do some things with them. They tweak on them. They're always making improvements. And Shane and Sarah McDowell, the team owners for that team, if you can't get behind what the McDowells do, I, I don't know that, um, man, I don't know that you're a race fan. They work hard. They race smart. They pick their shots, James. Nine wins on the year. And the National Dirt Lake Model Hall of Famer, man, he is aging like a fine wine right now. He just keeps getting better. I'm sure Hall of Famer Larry Sean House. I bet that car was blue and white, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I remember that victory lane and uh, Larry down there in it. And, yeah, it was a blue and white race car when he won here in 2004. As looks like Jonathan Davenport has cleared post-race tech. He will make his way to the front straightaway. Del McDowell rolls up there. The caught synthetic. Cometic gaskets. Connected strategy specialist number 17M down there getting checked out and I had an interesting talk today with Dell McDowell and he's a guy always looking to the future and you know the thing I love about him James well there's a lot of things but I love you know he's put his money where his mouth is he's promoted races he's runs racetracks he's won a, wore a lot of hats in this sport and um, I, when he speaks you listen and one bit of information here a little late breaking news Ben Dale McDowell's left rear tire is flat. Wow. Now, what that means is now, according to the National Droop Rule with all the uh, sanctioning bodies, he is allowed to change that tire before they check Droop. So, uh, wow. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, he can replace that, he can with, replace a, with a that tire, yes. And we saw yep. that with Kyle Larson after he smoked the wall after he won <laughs> yes. down at Golden Isle Speedway, which... That was just back in January. That feels like three years ago, but that was back in January. And same deal, he was able to put that tire on, and that's part of the unified uh, dirt weight model rules that you can do that with a comparable tire. So they're going to put that on, check that down there on the scales. Jack Sullivan's been down there checking the droop all week, weekend, I should say. So we'll wait on that. And, uh, hey, man, James, would it be Batesville if we didn't have a little bit of last-minute drama waiting to get official word on your winner? Well, it's another 10 minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, Ricky Thornton Jr., another championship-style night tonight. He entered the weekend 330 points out in front of Hudson O'Neill. I think the bigger story, five points per position once you get from second on back. And with that said, I believe unofficially that is going to move Tim McCready into that fourth position, that Big River still chase for the championship presented by ARP. Yeah, so unofficially right now, Overton finished ninth, McCready fifth, Moran who will be in that hunt there. He's fourth here tonight unofficially right now. So, yeah, so Moran would make up points on him, and McCready unofficially by what five points would move in front of him into fourth. And, you know, talking to Tim, they've been they've been digging. They've been working hard, and they're making gains, but they haven't been maybe necessarily where they wanted to be. Um, but he's still in the thick of things. And, again, all you got to do is after, as we get ready to go to Eldor, you got to be in the top four, and you got a chance at that $200,000 prize at the Dirt Track World Championship at Eldor Speedway, October 20th through 21st. All right, so Jack Sullivan down there with the Comp Cam Super Dirt Series and a shake of the fist, and Shane McDowell says yes. They get their second career win in the Comp Cam's Topless 100. Three different race leaders here tonight. And well, the Wiley veteran, I guess we can call him Wiley veteran, 57 years old. One of, he's going to go to, I mean, maybe top 15 all time. Got to be right. I mean, he's he's making a case. He's one, yep. he's one of a handful of guys to win the dream in the world. And he's won a lot of big races. And tonight is ninth win of the year. We'll be with for $50,000 as the Chickamauga, Georgia driver, now operating out of Mooresburg, Tennessee, will make his way into Lucas Oil Victory Lane. A big smile on his face as he brings this easy go, number 17M, Shane McDowell Racing, Team Zero race car. Clements power under the hood, and he pulls it onto the Victory Lane stage here at Batesville Motor Speedway. As we'll wait on him to climb out of the entry. Now a two-time Top Cam's Topless 100 champion presented some fireworks out here by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Jeremy Shields leans in to get a word with the veteran. James, I think he's like Benjamin Button. He's actually aging backwards. He'll be 56 next year, 55 the year after. But right now, race fans, he's out of the car. Let him hear it. Dell McDowell, your winner here tonight. Confetti flies. His brother Shane McDowell down here pumping his fist. And they pick up, they pick up $50,000 here tonight. As the fireworks go off, big hug. You gotta love the brothers down here in Victory Lane. 
And we'll get Mr. Dell McDowell in front of this race car. Well, Dell, fireworks are going off. You won this race 19 years ago, and tonight you do it all over again. What was the number one key to you standing where you're standing right now? Well, uh, Shane made awful good adjustments. Uh, first of all, I need to thank a good Lord above. <laughs> ah, Jonathan Davenport with the ice water bath. <laughs> thank the good Lord above for allowing me to get through my health issues a couple of years ago and get back and do this. Thank you. Thank goodness it wasn't my time to get out of the sport and uh, need to say hi to, to uh, Tiffany and, and, and Mother Half and, and Bailey and Tucker and, and Landon McKinney. I know you guys are home. Wish you were here to celebrate, but I'll be on tomorrow. But uh, man, what a, what a race. Uh, what a crowd here. I mean, you know, and, and uh, to come in here and see the crowd, I don't think I've ever seen this big of a crowd here. So that's awesome. I want to thank you race fans for supporting this event. Uh, everybody that it takes to put it on, all the Lucas officials and Mooney and all his staff and uh, just everybody. But it's uh, it, it, we, we struggled this car a little bit and Shane's worked his tail off. I really haven't done anything but drive it and complain about it. So, <laughs> so uh, he's, he's made some good changes and uh, just a good night. You were married to the bottom from the drop of the green flag. Did you have a, Did you have instinct that this thing might latch up, or did you just know where that's that's where the 17M needed to be tonight? Well, I, you know, those guys were running a lane up, and I could run a lane up and maintain, but I was a little tight, so I knew if I was going to have to figure out what I needed to do to be able to get a clear line below them and see where I lacked and, and where I was shining a little bit. So, uh, you know, it just worked out. They got a little tight and got to pushing, and the car started rotating good. And lap traffic was very, very hairy. You don't know where to go, root, gouge. You don't have a clue what to do. But uh, everything worked out. That was literally my next question. How worried were you about lap traffic tonight? Because it seemed like it was almost hand-to-hand -hand combat with some of those cars. Well, it was. I mean, they were all jammed up, and so you don't know whether to root one out of the way or, you know, what to Man, it's just a good night. I need to thank my sponsors. Uh, we've got so many great partners with EasyGo, been with us for years, and Klotz and Comatic, uh, CSA Strategies, my buddy Jeep Van Warmer, Northeastern Fabrication, Systems. I uh, drove for Kenny and, and Larry. That's that's uh, Larry Shaw and Kenny Hendricks back in, back, uh, when did we win it? I don't, I don't even remember. 04. 04. So we, we drove for them. I appreciate their help. Um, you know, Jody Campbell and Campbell Insulation and MS Motors, Mark True Love, just everybody, uh, Black, Black uh, Rock, uh, uh, Benedum, Mike Benedum and his companies help us out a ton. Uh, Clements and Team Zero Car by Shane McDowell, that thing was good. So uh, uh, Scott's not here, but part of him's here. <laughs> so, uh, so hello to him, home. I, I think thing on that, I want to ask you one thing. Your brother's over here pumping his fist when he gets to victory lane. And we know all what you went through the past few years. And these just keep getting sweeter and sweeter as you guys not only get to spend time together, but you get to win together. It's awesome. Um, you know, when you get my age and we're looking at, at the end of, of our career, uh, you don't know how many more times you're going to get to come to these places. So you don't think about that when you're younger. But when, you're, when you get a little older and, you can, and you're able to come to them and, and be competitive and, and more than that win, very, very special. Race fans, let him hear it. Dell McDowell, your feature winner here tonight. James will catch up with our second, third, fourth, and fifth place finishers here tonight as Jonathan Davenport second on the Big River Still podium. He's going to make me work for it. He parked as far away as he could, so we'll go down. We'll catch up with a word with Jonathan Davenport. Again, led early in this one. He ends up coming home in second. Had a shot there, a couple shots late, just... Not much room to move around. And JD, man, I know you hate to lose any of them, but when that 17M's standing up there, I was talking earlier, I, I don't know if there, there's many people that aren't happy to see Dell McDowell in victory lane. Yeah, no doubt. The Silver Fox has still got it, ain't he? <laughs> no, we just was, uh, we was almost perfect. Uh, that's what me and Timmy was talking about when we started off right there. And I thought, oh crap, here we go. So uh, we just got too tight. And then when the rubber came, it made it even worse. But it was slick through one and two right there. We just could a little too tight at that point. But congratulations to Dale. Thanks to my crew, Corey and uh, Tyler, for working their butts off for me. Got to thank Nutri and Ag, everybody up on the hill. Um, thanks for coming out. It's been an awesome event once again. Um, uh, Dino Grow Seed, uh, ASC Warranty, especially thank you know, Lance and Darla Landers. You know, this is, this is their home court right here. So we try to defend it. We come up one spot short. But 
I was watching the, uh, uh, the board there, and I thought when I got to Dale there, like the lap before, I thought I seen two to go, and I never really looked for the white flag because I seen two coming off the corner. So I thought I could catch him right at the perfect time, and he couldn't hear me. And, and as soon as I caught him there, like I thought I seen the checker, and I'm like, oh, shit, I wait too long. But I thought I'd go ahead and blast it off in there anyway. But just to all right, so one lap, not enough is what J.D. says. He comes home in second as our third place finisher. The Big River Still podium rounded out by the Big River Still number 20 of Ricky Thornton Jr. We'll step just this way just a little bit, Ricky. And Ricky, early in the race, you were in the fold there trying to find your way. Just a third place car tonight. Did, did you have anything else for him than what you showed? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, that was really good. Uh, congrats to him. Uh, it, his stuff was a little better once he got to traffic than a lot of us. He uh, he could really close to a guy and still be able to maneuver. Where I felt like me and JD were kind of the same. We get close, to, and then you you really had to rely on that guy to miss his line. But uh, overall, really good weekend. Uh, I got to thank Bigger still, Hoker Trucking, uh, Coleman Farms, Bill Stein Shocks, Longhorn Chassis, uh, my crew, my wife, everybody that's came out and supported us still. Ricky Thornton Jr. He comes home in position number three. As we'll get Devin Moran up here. Devin parked in the North 40. And I tell you what, guys, we'll get Devin and we'll get you, Timmy, as we'll step back this way a little bit. Amazing crowd here tonight. And technology always a challenge when you come to Batesville. So we're going to try this right here. Devin Moran for tonight. Continues to make up ground the Double Down Motorsports. We'll see if this is the magic spot, Devin. Devin, it seems like each and every race you guys just continue to make up ground. I know creating other points tonight for you. I know you want to be in contention. But leaving here with a top five, limited starts here. How important is that to this team? Yeah, really good. You know, I just I feel like we click. Just keep clicking, you know. It's it's a brand new team for us all, with new crew guys and myself and and Roger, and uh, it just takes a long time to, to catch up to these guys, and we're still not where we need to be. But it's uh, we're inconsistent, but we're still having good runs. So uh, just uh, glad to get this double down motorsports car uh, in top five, um, especially in front of this great crowd. It was an awesome crowd, and uh, I want to thank BRS. They have a ton of people up there, and uh, it's cool to come out here. The two races that they they had a lot of people at the the show me in here. We had good runs. So. Uh, I want to thank them, thank Roger Sellers, uh, Robbie, uh, Casey, and Connor. Um, obviously, none of us drivers could do what we do without our car owners, and, and there's a ton of great car owners in this sport, and I just want to thank mine and all the other ones. And, uh, yeah, thank Lazy Days, and we'll see what we can do next weekend. Devin Moran, the Big River still double down motorsports, number 99 fourth. And, yeah, Timmy, we'll give this one a shot right here. Well, Tim, a, a top five finish here tonight, and uh, unofficially, that moves you up into fourth in the point standings. I know it's a long season, but I know you've been grinding. You haven't been the happiest. You guys are making progress. And for as much as you might have struggled to be fourth in the points at this at this point, does it really give you confidence as we enter this home stretch? Um, I mean, we're getting better. Uh, I just want to thank all the guys at Longhorn Chassis back at the shop. They're all working hard. Uh, Mega Plum of the Carolinas, Bill Stein Shocks, Cornet Power, everybody that does this. Um, you know, we're making strides. Uh, you, you know, you, you look and... I guess it's a it's a blessing and a curse. Everybody expects us to be up front, and when we struggle a little bit, uh, they think that the bottom's dropping out. Um, you know, we're we're still here. Uh, I think people would probably fight to have the year that we're having right now, and it's it's a down year for us. So that's a pretty cool thing to be in that type of situation. So we'll uh, we'll always plug forward and we'll do our best. And, and uh, I can't wait to get home, see see the wife and kids, and, and, uh, and just uh, sit back for one day before we go back at it again. I want to thank Donald, Gina, everybody that does this. All my three guys. We had a issue before practice we didn't get out only for a half a lap with a distributor to I don't know I've seen what I have before to blew the bottom of the cap off it so we didn't even we were kind of scrambling so to come out fifth with that it's all to those guys and uh, we'll uh, try again next week. Race fans Tim McCready rounds out your Penske top five James Essex Dell McDowell the veteran just keeps on trucking your comp cams topless 100 champion presented by Nutrient Ag Solutions back up top to you my friend. The Silver Fox does it. David Pearson is the original Silver Fox but it's David